Intel's i9 Alder Lake processor finally beats Apple's M1 Max. But only kinda. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider, it is Andrew here. And when I was out at CES, Intel was all over the place boasting that its new upcoming Alder Lake chipset was going to surpass the performance of Apple's M1 Max mobile processor. And the first benchmarks were revealed today in PC World review of a PC with the new Intel i9 Alder Lake chipset inside of it. And yeah, they technically do beat Apple's M1 Max processor, but there's a whole laundry list of caveats. In the end, this is only a good thing for Apple users. Let's be clear about what we're talking about. PC World tested an MSI GE76 Raider, which included the new Intel i9-12900HK processor, codenamed Alder Lake. They ran a myriad of benchmarks, and the ones that were cross-platform with Mac were able to get a good idea of the performance of this Intel chip. Notably, the one that I'm going to be talking about in this video is Geekbench. I'm going to take those numbers and combine them with my own benchmarks from Apple's M1 Max processor and combine it with some analysis from Macworld as well as Anantec who did some further testing to paint a broader picture of the mobile processor landscape. As I said, I'm primarily concerned here with looking at the Geekbench scores. This is cross-platform between Mac and Windows, and even though they did run a compute graphics benchmark on that PC, they were testing the discrete GPU. We're looking at integrated GPUs here, so it just does not matter as much in what we're talking about here. So let's go ahead and look at the numbers. On my MacBook Pro with Apple's M1 Max processor, I get a single core score of around 1782 and a multi-core score of 12828. Then if we go ahead and compare that to the new Intel Alder Lake scores, which according to PC World earned a 1838 on the single core and a 13235 on the multi-core. If you do the math, Intel has maybe a four to 5% lead over Apple here. And the crazy is if you've ever used Geekbench, three, three to five, four to 5% is like the margin of error for Geekbench. Scores can deviate that much just running them back to back. They can go up and they can go down. So right now, I'm not even sure what these numbers were from PC World. If these are an average of their tests, if it's just one single test they ran, if it was multiple times, was their high point, their low point, I don't know yet. And it'll be interesting to see as more machines come out how these processors are going to really stack up in the real world. But if we take these numbers at face value, yes, Intel does get a higher score on the single and multi-core score than Apple's top of the line M1 Max processor. So that's it folks, that's, wait, nope. You knew there was more to talk about. You knew that wasn't the whole story. Otherwise you wouldn't have watched this video. So the rest of the story as it pans out is PC World did some testing and they found that the power draw on the new Intel processor was around 100 watts on average, but there were peaks to 130 and even 140 watts of power draw to get these high numbers. Uh, go, going back and looking at Anantec, who did a similar test on the MacBook Pro with the M1 Max processor, it was only drawing about 40 watts of power, like a third of the power draw of what the Intel Alder Lake chipset was consuming. But what does that mean? It means a few things. One, battery life is not nearly as good on this MSI GE76 Raider. In fact, they were getting only about six hours of offline video playback versus the MacBook Pro, I think the 14-inch MacBook Pro, 17 hours. Six versus 17 is a drastic difference in battery life. On top of that, the MSI GE76 Raider is a heavy machine. It is thicker and heavier than what Apple has in the 14-inch MacBook Pro. So it has a bigger, chunkier battery and significantly worse battery life to get maybe four to 5% improvements on the processing power. This doesn't even include the fact that the GE76 Raider that they are looking at has really loud fans. Apple Insider spoke to a couple users and the fans 
are insanely loud when this thing kicks into full speed. So not only does it consume more power to get these scores, it has really loud fans that are ruining that user experience while you're using the machine. And this machine is priced at $4,000, which is one and a half times the price of a 14 inch MacBook Pro with the comparable M1 Max processor. That said, the GE76 Raider does have that more, that higher end GPU versus the integrated GPU that Apple offers with the MacBook Pro. But other than that, Apple's processor is not about to be unseated by Intel. Apple is just getting started. The M1, M1 Pro, and M1 Max are all of Apple's first generation chips for the Mac. And we're just about to get the M2 processor, as well as the possibly M2 Pro, M2 Max coming down the line as well. There's a lot of room for Apple to grow here. They are just getting started and any of this performance by Intel is just going to stoke the fire of competition and push Apple even harder. Let me know what you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you want to grab yourself a new Mac, I got some great deals listed down below in the description.